Good morning. I woke up a bit late this morning and I was wondering who had all this electric floodlights on but it was just late and the, the, <laughs> the, the sunlight was was on already, turned on. <laughs> circumstances of a day. We had another faithful follower yesterday here visiting with her family in a, a group. Her son is a pastor. And it's nice to see all these relationships developing even through the sunrise strolling chat a little like this. The Lord pours out, pours out his blessings in many different ways in our lives. Somebody was asking me about the reeds growing. This is just, I think, grass. And I don't think it's reeds yet. But sure, this could easily be filled up with reeds. In fact, you see where those bushes are there? And you see the, the bush over there? It was all like that. Well, those are tougher bushes that are there and these ones as well. That's why they've survived. But the reeds were just as high. All this area, almost as far as that little uh, floating part of the walkway out there. And now for the last four or five winters, the water has been up to here, basically. So that can come back and nature comes back quickly. There's no vacuum in nature. There's always pressure, conflict, pushing, competition. That's why it's very good to fill your heart and soul with good plants because if your garden is left empty, all kinds of weeds and disorder and and the negative things can start happening in our mind and our soul. And that's why it's good at the beginning of the day to sow a little of God's word in our mind, in our heart, in our soul. A little reminder of so much love so much goodness. It helps to set ourselves right. And today's readings show a side of humanity that's, that's part of our history, everyone's history and community's history, mankind's history. doing things that are really not good for us are not doing things we should not opening up to compassion to humility to love and they're very strong words from the prophet it's the time when you come and you just let down your guards and say okay I did it no point making more excuses. No point being defensive. Admitting 
that we lacked in doing good or that we even did bad. That's a very important moment for mankind, for each person, for each child. And then that we do that in a context of mercy. In a context of hope. And the entirety of sacred scripture is filled with hope. There are expressions of harsh words, of punishment, of negative consequences for doing evil. But it's all about hope and teaching. It's a backdrop eventually fully revealed of mercy. And there's a fascinating line in the Psalm today that brings that together. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. So even from the depths of our guilty conscience, we are able to appreciate, even through that darkness of selfishness and sin, the holiness of God. And even if we wouldn't deserve mercy, we appeal to God's own holiness to restore us, his creation. the glory of your name deliver us. That line takes a little bit of pondering and meditation, reflection. And it's, it's very, very, it's actually very helpful. It does us good. And it allows us also to see the holiness of God, the goodness of God. Sometimes we have language, especially in the Old Testament, but also from Jesus, shakes us up like today his words to Capernaum, Chorazin, towns across the lake here. And they were stubborn. They had seen so many blessings and received so many gifts, so many acts of goodness and marvelous acts of kindness. And they remained closed in their heart. And there are some words that are very strong in today's gospel. You can read it there in the link. But there are also words that are done from a heart of mercy. Because just trying to shake up somebody that's very stubborn is not easy. And the ultimate shake up words are the seven last words from the cross. And that's why things out of context will be distorted. So even those words today from Jesus are to be completed with the words from the cross. The revelation of mercy. The heights of mercy, the depths of mercy. Hey, we can see the moon there. Up and up and up and up and up for the glory of your name. Redeem us. People, God bless you. See you later, alligators.